The daily budget you apply to your Google Ads campaigns is one of the more simple controls that we have on the Google Ads platform. But for advertisers who need it, there's actually a little more advanced option called shared budgets. This is where you can utilize a single daily budget and apply it to a handful of campaigns or your entire account. And they really help control costs for advertisers who need to make sure that they're only spending a certain amount for a specific group of campaigns. So in today's video, I wanna walk through what Google Ads shared budgets are and show you when you might wanna use them in your account. I wanna start off by giving a bit of a visual overview of what shared budgets are just in case the intro didn't work out for you visual learners out there. On the left, we've got the regular standard campaign level budgets. The way those function is pretty simple. Each of the three campaigns we have here has its own individual budget that's allotted to that campaign and that campaign only. So campaign one is $10, two has 20, three has 50. Now, if we were to make a shared budget for these three campaigns, we would effectively just flip the relationship between the budget and the campaigns. And then as the name suggests, the budget would be shared. So instead, we would start with an $80 a day shared budget because that's the total that we have for the three campaigns right now. And then that amount would be allocated across each of the three campaigns on a daily basis so that the combined daily spend would be no more than $80. But that $80 distribution could be in any different weights across campaigns one, two, and three. Just because the original set had it broken down for $10 for campaign one and $50 for campaign three, with shared budgets, that number could be flipped or campaign two could take all of the budget. For the most part, it's a first come first serve basis. There are definitely some benefits to shared budgets. If you have a top line daily spend that you need to hit across a group of campaigns, shared budgets is a great way to do that rather than trying to manage individual daily budgets for individual campaigns. Maybe you have an account that has 10 campaigns in it, but two of them are allocated towards your holiday sale and you wanna have just a budget designated for those holiday campaigns. Shared budget is an easy way to do that that will then leave the spend for those campaigns controlled and won't impact the budgets for the other campaigns. In another example, if you have an entire account that basically just has one budget and you don't really care which campaign spends the most, you can create one shared budget and opt all of the campaigns into it. And it makes that just a lot easier if you don't have particular preferences about campaign level spend. The last one is better budget utilization. Now, I'll be honest, this one's 50-50 for me. Google says that shared budgets will help you utilize your budget more efficiently. But from their angle, what they're thinking is that if you have lots of campaigns that are underspending the daily budget and some other campaigns that are being capped by budget, they can then reallocate that unused spend from the first campaign and give it to the second, effectively increasing your cost. Now, that's not always a bad thing, but that to me just sounds like you're spending more on Google. On the flip side, there is a way that you can make shared budgets perform even better, but it doesn't have anything to do specifically with using unused budget. Instead, if you combine shared budgets across a handful of campaigns with portfolio level bidding that optimizes toward the same goal across those campaigns, then not only are you sharing one budget, but you're sharing one optimization effort as well. And that, in my mind, is a better budget utilization. I'm not gonna cover portfolio level bidding in this video. Joe actually just recently released a video. So if you're interested in that and how to combine it with shared budgets, finish watching this video, but then bookmark the video at the top of the screen right now and go watch that one right afterward. Now let's jump into the Google Ads interface. I'll show you how you can set up shared budgets in your account. To create a new shared budget, we need to go to the shared budgets manager in Google Ads. That's gonna be over here in the tools section under budgets and bidding, shared budgets. We then need to click one of the blue plus buttons to create a new one. We'll then give the shared budget a name. Ideally, you'll give this a name that gives you some indicator as to which campaigns you're using it for so you can more easily manage it later. But for now, I'm not gonna actually apply this, so example shared budget it is. Now there are some finicky things when you're setting up shared budgets and what the total is. There's a couple ways you can do this. The first is to check the box next to the campaigns that you wanna include. If I chose the top two, you can see down here at the bottom, total budget $850 across two campaigns because it's taking the total of the two daily budgets combined. Now there is the option, if you wanted to uncheck these, to simply add in a daily total here and create the shared budget without any campaigns applied to it. But to be honest, the workflow for this is not very good. 
Once you apply campaigns to that shared budget later, Google still simply takes the combination of the daily total budgets that you have for the existing campaigns and just overwrites the total that you have here. So there's really no reason to start this way and then opt campaigns in later because it's just gonna overwrite it. So for this example, I'm gonna choose campaigns that are paused in this account because I don't wanna actually apply this, but I do wanna show you what the process looks like. So let me go ahead and select those campaigns and with the magic of editing, we'll move forward. Now that I've created my shared budget, the daily budget is now $105 across two campaigns. Once these campaigns would run for a little while, I would be able to navigate back to this shared budget manager and see the number of clicks, impressions, the click-through rate, the average cost per click, any of the different performance metrics that I wanted to see in here. Could also see conversions, as well as any stats around call details, if we were using those in this account. Now let's say we have this shared budget and we decided that we wanted to opt in other campaigns to this. I would then go back to the campaigns manager. I could then choose any campaign here, click edit, change budgets, and then rather than decide if I wanted to add a new budget, increase or decrease, you can see here that I can change from an individual budget into a shared budget from the library. So if I click this button here, you can see that I can then get to select the budget. I can choose the one that I want and then click save. The biggest change here is that when you opt existing campaigns into existing shared budgets that already have campaigns associated with it, the total budget stays the same. It's still $105. It did not add in the incremental spend from the campaign that I was just trying to opt in. So depending on which process you use, whether you're adding them after the fact or altogether at the beginning, make sure you're keeping an eye on the total that Google is setting for you for the shared budget so that it actually is the amount that you want it to be. Since I don't want this campaign opted into this, I'm gonna click cancel. But that's how you would create a shared budget in Google Ads and apply it to your campaigns. Now let's say you want to remove a campaign from a shared budget or remove the shared budget altogether. We can remove a campaign from a shared budget from the settings tab in that given campaign. To do that, I'm gonna filter for one of the paused campaigns that I opted into. And you can see here, we've got the average daily spend across these two campaigns. So I would just need to click on the gear icon here, go to the budget section, and then to remove the campaign, I would shift it back to an individual campaign budget. And then I would need to reassign a daily budget to this campaign. When you opt something out of a shared budget, it will not revert back to the daily budget that it had prior. So you'll need to remember what that was or come up with a new amount. This campaign's paused, so it doesn't really matter. Just need to have a placeholder here. And then I'll click save. Now you'll see that only the one campaign is opted into that shared budget. And that campaign by itself now has $105 for a daily budget. If you wanna stop using this shared budget, you could easily opt this campaign out of the shared budget and it will effectively do that for you. But if you wanted to delete the shared budget, we would need to go back into the shared budget manager. And if we came here and I checked the box, you'll notice that this is gonna cause a problem. If I come up to edit and remove, it'll ask if we're sure we wanna remove the shared budget. And when we try to do that, we can't do it because it's applied to a campaign. So if you want to remove a shared budget, you would need to remove all of the campaigns that are associated with it first, and then you can delete it. But if at any point you wanted to just increase or decrease the daily budget for that shared budget, you could do that here, or you could do that back in the campaign manager, just the same way you would increase or decrease an average daily budget for a given campaign, but it'll always tell you that it will be applied across one campaign or two or however many you have in there. Shared budgets are a relatively simple tool, but they can make account management a lot easier. Only having one daily budget to keep an eye on as opposed to a handful to regularly adjust based on performance and making sure you're hitting an aggregate daily spend can be challenging, especially when Google is able to overspend your campaign daily budget by about double on any individual day. Remember, one of the best use cases for shared budgets is to combine that with a portfolio bidding strategy across those campaigns to leverage a shared budget, but also shared learnings trying to optimize towards certain campaign goals. If you have any additional questions about shared budgets or anything else in the Google Ads interface, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.